Alright, um, I know I've been gone for a pretty long time, but, uh, my series, I've decided not to do it, because I've lost the world, and that's pretty much the reason. Also, I've, uh, been learning some redstone from Redstone Maniac 1, 2, 3, and he's got some really good stuff. Well, he's only got really one redstone video, but it's still pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I show him some of his support. He's been teaching me a lot lately, and uh, I really appreciate it. So, um, anyway, I've seen a lot of videos online where people will make these really, really complicated uh, redstone generators. Basically, like a little power plant, I guess. And you can see mine over there. And, uh,. Since I'm still new to redstone, I was using this to see how I could get my door working just right. This was a test, and over here I have a fountain. Now, this fountain will only run if my power plant is going. Once the power plant runs out of energy, then that will push over, close it off. And we'll be right back whenever power is out so I can show you how it works and show you the redstone mechanics. Okay. Alright, it has finally turned off. You can tell that by the fact that it's already turning day that that took a pretty good while. Okay. So, now that my fountain's turned off, that means that the power plant has basically run out of energy. So, here it is. I kind of made it look a bit better. I'm still not too good with design. Alright, as you can see, I said that the power plant is out of energy, but you can see active redstone, and you can see my door is open. Alright, what I basically did for that, it took me a few tries and a lot of deleting before this video, but this is what I did. Alright. I will come back to this though, because this isn't really the important part though for my power plant. But just a quick demonstration. I've got multiple redstone, so door is open. And so I throw in something that will turn on the power plant, but it turns off the door so that it closes. That way if the power plant is shut down, like, if the power plant's running, no one can run in and steal, unless they grief it. Alright, but you come up, the door's open, so it's out of energy. Also, you can tell by that light. That light will turn on, but all we do is the spencer down here. I just used roses, because it's a fast thing for me to get out of creative. Alright, each time you do this, it takes about five minutes for an item to be spawned which that is how much time you get so you push your button that'll light up and there you go that will shut itself off but now that the door shut I put a button right here so that you can leave well if I can but you can leave back but you can't get back in all right now, I've covered up the mechanics, so I'll, I'll just get over here, and I will be back whenever the mechanics are uncovered, and I can show you them. Okay, I've pretty much uncovered the redstone. So, that dispenser that you saw inside, here it is. And see, it's got the roses. Alright, now, I have a piston sitting up here that whenever you activate, like, you know what, here, behind this wall, right here, that's where the button is, the button just powers this, powers that, and then, this will shoot over here into where it lands on this pressure plate, which you can see that there's a row sitting there. Normally the rose wouldn't be so far near the edge, but I've been uncovering it a little bit before the video and after. 
but if you come over here you can see that that pressure plate, since it's got something on it, it powers down to here. Hold on, I'll just throw our new rows back on and okay. Let's try that again. No, I'll be right back once I get that rose on. Alright, finally got that rose on. Okay. So, anyway, what it does, and yes, I'll well, end up having to replace some of this stuff probably, because this recording, I'm using Bandicam, and it seems to lag my Minecraft a pretty good amount, but it runs down to here, and from there, it will run, like, well, right here, I've concealed it pretty well. I tried to also make it look kind of good. As with this, it doesn't really need this wide. It's only one block wide for it. But, okay. Let's see, over here, it just runs down. That redstone, basically, all it really does is it runs down around, comes to here. Now, this redstone here ends up going that direction to go towards the door. This redstone leads up to power the light, and it turns that off, turns that on, goes over and activates the piston. When that item despawns, then all of it shuts off, and the piston will go up. This turns off, that turns on, that turns off, and then the redstone lamp turns off. Anyway, now that redstone that I said went in the other direction, here it is. It just comes around, goes to here, and it does the reversal, which you can see I played around with also over there too. So I can test out the door without having to build and destroy multiple things. But it runs up, it runs up, comes into here, and right there, I found out that slabs work pretty well for this because it can run right through as you can tell see it goes straight through it right? and so because it's got that set up it makes an invert where all right it sets it so that if power is on and that's turned off and so is your door so that no one can run it and see here's a better look at it now this would be a further this is a much closer distance than over there and it obviously doesn't have anything to shoot it so I just drop an item in but as you can tell it's basically the same setup for the door you've just got your pressure plate goes around goes up a little staircase which, I'm still kind of new to this. I'm used to the really old ways, because I was probably doing redstone a lot back in 1.6, 1 1.7. 1 Alright, but if you notice, this is turned back on because that is set up. Now, the way I did that is if you look right here, see, you can see there. But down here, along with the same current that the line that the door runs on, it splits off down this direction where I have it going down which I had to be careful being in super flat which is really why the power plant's even above ground and just floating is because I was afraid I would go into the void but you go down it comes to here because the redstone if I didn't put this repeater then my redstone would be too far and it would not work but on the other side of this block it's got a redstone torch goes over to there and from there as we fly back up it goes right there it goes under there then just a series of the torches well actually I guess right here but it's a series of torches leading to around here and all that it does is once power goes off does the same thing as the door it does an invert so that this is 
uh, activated until power's turned back on. Alright, but now you can see the door. What kind of, just the basic little inverter, and you've seen this. I may show how to actually build it, but I think I've shown enough of the area. I'll see though in a few weeks. Now over there I've also got a uh, gate, but I'll show that in a completely different video. Alright, well, again, show Redstone Maniac 123 a lot of support. He can do some really good redstone, but he ended up having to get rid of his computer, his old Mac, start having some problems. So we had to go get him an XP, a Windows XP, get Minecraft, update his drivers, and we still have not gotten a recording software on and ready for him. We're still working on it. He has no microphone, which he doesn't like. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out.